Okay, now we're going to take a look at what makes a stock price change. Obviously, things that happen over time cause stock prices to tend to rise, as we saw when we looked at our 10-year difference when we looked at Whole Foods Market. What we're going to look at now is we're going to look at Land's End, which is a clothing manufacturer. So you can see currently it's trading at $44.02, but what I want to look at and what I noticed when I looked at their graph is that I noticed that there's a big change from one day to the next in the stock price. And I can actually see how much that that stock price changed. If I put my little cursor on the bottom, I can see that at the end of trading on September 9th, Land's End stock was trading for $33.34. And then the next day, it opened at, what does it look like? It's looking like $37.32. So we're looking at a $4 jump in the price of the stock. So when I'm trying to figure out what could possibly have happened to take a look at that, I see all these letters over here which correspond to different stories that you can see on the right that have to do with Land's End stock. So what I'm going to do is take a look at some of these stories and you can see that I have a number of them right at the same time which is usually a good indicator that something happened. So if I look at story E, it tells me Land's End shares up sharply after strong quarter. S says Land's End posts its quarterly results. Story J tells me that um, Land's End posts profit of $11.8 million in the second quarter, which is probably better than what they were anticipating. Um, and it also says in story G, Land's End profit rises 4.9% on stronger sales. Now, the way that financial analysts work, they're always making estimates about what they expect companies to do. It's kind of like if you went into class and you were expecting a B. If you got a B, then it really isn't a big deal because that's what you were expecting. But it's a big deal if you come in at an A or if you come in at a C. And that's really what happens to prices of stocks when companies come in different from what the analysts are expecting. Since Land, Land's End had more sales and were stronger than expected, their stock price jumped $4 from one day to the next. Now, on the other hand, if you have a company that has poor sales and their expectations are worse than what the analysts were expecting, then you would tend to see a big drop off in the stock's price. Now, in addition to things about earnings and profits, other things that can cause prices to jump are releases of new products or maybe bad news about a product or a lawsuit or something like that. So when you're looking for a stock, make sure that you kind of look at the chart and you see if you can see any sort of big jumps. I would probably not go back farther than a month because your stories aren't going to go back that far. So hopefully you can find one. Maybe you may want to take a look at a stock like, say, Macy's, because that one I think has a little bit of a drop it's somewhere in there. And um, also, you may want to take a look at Apple, because Apple just had a um, announcement about a new product. So see if that had any sort of impact on their stock. Good luck.